Toyota is the world's biggest automaker and one of the largest companies on earth in terms of revenue. Although bigger doesn't always mean better, the cost to own awards and best resale value prizes that Toyota rakes in make a bold statement. That tells you a lot, says Carl Brower, executive analyst with IC Cars. Com. 4Runner. Like so many other Toyotas, the 4Runner is heralded for its reliability, but it's also loved for its rugged off-road capabilities, which have resulted in more than 4 million in cumulative sales since it was introduced. Available in all-wheel drive, it transitions well from the trail to the road and seats 5. The midsize SUV is pricey for its class, but Edmunds reviewers, who give it 4.5 stars out of 5, say it pays back the difference and then some, thanks to low long-term ownership costs. The car is getting a limited edition 40th anniversary makeover, with only 4,040 available in the United States, with bronze-colored 17-inch alloy wheels and tailgate badge, and a body color matching grille. Camry When it comes to trust in Toyotas, there is the Camry and there's everything else. In 1997, the Camry became the first Toyota in history to earn the distinction of being the best-selling car in America when it knocked the Ford Taurus off its perch. With the exception of 2001, the Camry has reigned supreme as America's favorite car every year through 2018. For more than two decades, the Camry has ruled the space where dependability, reliability, and cost converge. No other dynasty in automotive history can compete. It's been the mainstay of the brand for most of its history in this country. Corolla For a generation, King Camry has been backed up by a pared-down, JV version of itself that has long been trusted by its owners, the Corolla. It's basically a junior Camry, so it's even more affordable, and it has as much or more of a strong reputation for long-term reliability. If someone says they want to spend the least amount of money on the most dependable, long-lasting car, for several decades now, you could argue that the word Corolla would be the answer. Land Cruiser Brower has long been a fan of the Land Cruiser, which emerged as a military vehicle in Japan in the 1950s and was refined for civilian use as a direct competitor to the Land Rover. They're pretty amazing, there's been some version of a Toyota Land Cruiser for several decades now, and they've always been extremely well respected from a capability and durability standpoint. If you're looking for something that can genuinely go off-road and climb over rocks, not a poser SUV, which there are plenty of these days, that is very robust and durable, it won't break on you even if you do that for years and years. That's a contrast to say, a Land Rover, which is a very capable SUV, but one that will break down. Mark II and Mark X In 2019, Toyota bid farewell to the Mark X, a nameplate it had produced in one form or another for more than half a century. The luxury rear-wheel drive sedan was launched as the Mark II in 1968, but in 2004, it became the Mark X. According to the auto news site Motor One, Toyota marketed the Mark X as a Camry alternative that was billed as a Japanese BMW. Americans are more likely to know it as the Corona, which was sold in the United States starting in 1972. In 1977, however, the body changed and so did the name. From that year until 1992, it was known here as the Cressida. RAV4 According to Brower, the RAV4 is the vehicle that has kind of replaced the Camry as a result of a buyer shift from cars to SUVs. It's another really well-executed Toyota, reflected in its volume, how many are selling, and its resale value. People are big fans of it. You essentially get an SUV-like vehicle from its looks and its increased interior flexibility and functionality, but you're getting it for about the price of a Camry. The RAV4 is becoming more of the poster child for Toyota in recent years than the Camry was for decades. Lexus RX Toyota's Lexus division has long been known for luxury, but innovation is what made the Lexus RX shine. Until 1999, midsize SUVs were basically wagons built onto pickup truck frames. That year, Lexus reinvented the genre with the RX, the first successful SUV built on the body of a passenger vehicle, none other than the Camry. It was also revolutionary in that it was offered in front-wheel drive instead of just all-wheel or four-wheel drive. The RX was really a game-changer and paradigm shift in the SUV market, offering the maneuverability of a sedan with serious off-road and all-weather capability. The revolutionary new car or SUV hybrid would become the standard bearer of the SUV market and go on to account for 40% of Lexus sales. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.